All right, people, Catfish Dave here, uh, doing a little night fishing tonight. Going to do some anchor fishing here. Not too ridiculously far below the dam because I like having some current to do this. And uh, I'm going to suspend one rod, throw two rods out. I've got some semi-fresh skipjack, about two days old here. We are sitting in 63 foot. And uh, we're going to see if we can't hang something good tonight. I typically don't do that well uh, on numbers of fish at night as opposed to the day. It seems like the day bite is more active. But the two biggest fish I ever caught in my life, which were both over 80 pounds, came at night in the fall. We're getting close to fall. We're uh, uh, past the middle of September, I think it's September 20 something. Water temps are still very warm, they're not fall temperatures at all, but we're gonna fish anyway. Got skipjack on all three, man, let's drop them down. That one carbon rod I used for suspending, I actually tried painting it with some fluorescent paint, and it's probably a little more visible than the one that isn't painted but it's still not very visible. It is 9.16 right now, so we'll give it till about 11 o'clock, see if anything good happens out here. Well, all right, y'all, we've been out here about 30 minutes. About 15 minutes in, that middle rod started to go down nice and slow, just, just like a flathead was lipping it. I've had something dip that rod down just a little bit once. I've had something smack that suspended bait rod. Typically 30 minutes with no fish, anchored fishing, I might move on. But I've had just enough action, I'm gonna give the spot another 30 minutes. There was fish on the screen, there was some structure down there, that's why I stopped. We'll give it a little more chance here. Well, all right, y'all, I sent some possible flathead activity there so I stuck around, but we've been sitting 45 minutes, uh, no fish in the boat, so we're fixing to make a move here as soon as I eat this uh, jalapeno cheese and cracker. Mm-mm-mm, that's good stuff. All right, y'all, spot number two. We're in 42 foot of water here. A lot of rock and rubble and debris here. A good place to get hung up. Good place for fish to hang. That acts like a flathead just lipping that thing. some pool. Wait a 
believe he's in my suspended bait over here. Yeah, I believe he's in that suspended bait over there. That can unhook him. Stay on the hook, brother. Stay on the hook, brother. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. We got it. About five minutes into spot number two. Flathead September, y'all. Fishing in the style that most likely gets me a flathead, but yet we can still catch blues like this too. We're not drifting, we're not dragging, we're sitting still for when these things want to bite. Good corner hook set. It's not a real heavy one, but I tell you what, man, these things can pull. They can just pull. Got a real nice coloring to them. Yeah, man, these things right here pull when they want to. They just, they can bulldog, y'all. Yeah, Flathead September. Yeah. One fish in the boat. So there is a lot of rock and rubble in here, so plenty of places. For them to get out of the current. Not fishing real far below the dam. Because I like fishing current. I'll tell you what y'all, I got another rod here in the boat. Since the bite isn't super fast, I'm going to get a little more coverage of this ledge. We'll bait this one up, throw it out to the right over here. Plenty of rock and rubble over this whole thing. And I'll tell you what, this is a good place to lose some tackle too. I think I'll hook this one through the jaw this time. They don't come off as easy this way. I seem to get a little better hook set hooking them through the back, but I keep my bait on better this way. So. We'll give this spot, I don't know, another 30 minutes. We've got our flathead for Flathead September. We'll give it 30 more minutes and uh, I might start working some humps or something in the river for some blue cat action a little later on. Middle rod. Catfish there. Yeah. I tell you what, y'all. 
I've been fooled before where a blue cat makes me think it's a flathead, but this is a flathead catfish that made me think it was a blue cat. We've just got two flatheads. You hook good, buddy? Uh, he's big enough to do this. Yeah, that's a flathead, man. He, he fought like a blue. Smaller flathead man, he fought like a blue, sure did. Even grunted like one right there. I think this flathead identifies as a blue catfish. Yellowish color. Hey. We'll take it. That fish even done the roll and flipping on the top of the water like a blue cat when he come to the top. Well, all right, y'all, that is uh, two fish in about 10 minutes, so uh, we're going to continue to fish this spot. Not a big fish. Could be a small flathead. Hard like a small flathead. Even the small ones will pull hard. Let's see what we got. I don't know if y'all can see this rod or not. Yeah, yeah, we have a uh, looks like another flathead, y'all. Yep, yep, he's an honorary little flathead, an honorary little thing. not hooked real well, so we will net him. Oh, yeah. Flathead number three. small flathead. Yeah. I believe we might have hit the flathead honey hole here. I'm surprised we have not been hung up yet. When you see this on the graph, it's Boulder City. Hit on that suspended bait already. <laughs> We're getting hit already. We just dropped it down, man. This one feels a little bigger here. Small flathead can pull really hard. It's coming up pretty easy now. Okay. Well, there we go. Y'all, that's a blue catfish right there.
did not fight like a blue, did not roll one bit. Got a little variety to the video. So they usually pull a little harder. Old male fish got the wide head. Curl your tail the other way, man, where they can see you. Yeah, old blue catfish. I got a boat coming down river. Let me turn this light off. I guess it's a boat. I hope that ain't no barge. It's making quite a bit of noise and got a bright light. Okay, y'all, let me move for this barge real quick. I am in the bend, and I'm about right where he's going to turn here, so. The way he's blinding me with that light, uh, I can't see the front of the barge, so I'm definitely going get to get over here to the bank. All right, y'all, we got a big barge going down the river here. I'm over here close to the bank out of his way because I was right in the bend where he swings around. It's very hard to see the front of those things because they got that spotlight going down the river. He's coming on, so uh, it won't be long. We'll get back to fishing. Yeah, he's coming right through where I was. Come off, man. Shoot. Shoot. Well, we lost him. stays buttoned up. That's a good fish, y'all. Thank you. 
bigger than we thought he was. He's still pulling it, y'all. He's still pulling it. Oh, this might be a really big fish. Holy jeez. All the way back down to the bottom, y'all. That drag, that drag is not loose. Woo, we got ourselves good here. It's de definitely acting like a really big blue cap. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a big old blue, I'd say. All we can do is lean on him. Still going down, still going down, still going down. something good. Turn that drag off with our clicker. He fooled me when he let me pick him up towards the top of the water. It's almost like he didn't know he was hooked until he got to the top. Fish is starting to wear on my old back here. He's still going. He's still going. Yeah. Yo, this has got to be a good one, man. Gotta be a good one. Uh, yeah, he's starting to wear on my back, y'all. I'm about to. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, big boy. Let's see what we got here. This has to be a good fish. It has to be. Oh yeah, I see something down there. I just got a glimpse of him. I just got a glimpse of him. There he is. Oh yeah. Yeah, boy, that's 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 a solid blue cat right there, y'all. That's a solid one. See if I can get this net. Ooh. Get this ready. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a long fish there. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. He's going back down again, man. Okay, y'all, he's getting close, getting close, getting close, getting close. Trying to get him in this heavy current. Come on, big boy. Oh, yeah, we got him. Yeah. yeah, he got some weight to him.
tell you what, man. I cannot believe that that fish ain't twice that size. I mean, he's a nice one. Don't get me wrong, but man, that thing was just strong. That fish was strong. Well, all right, y'all, this is the hardest dang fighting blue cat I've ever gotten a hold of. Uh, I mean, this thing just pulled, man. Of course, he's gonna cool, curl that tail all funky. But that's a good looking fish. And I mean, it, it pulled, man. It really pulled. Oh, yeah. Woo! <clears throat> man, that thing pulled like a, pulled like a dang 80 pound fish. I swear he did. I've been talking about how hard a flathead can pull pound for pound compared to a blue, but I'll tell you what, that blue right there had some pull. I guess it just all depends on the fish. Either way, y'all, I'm going to call it with that. Uh, seen a couple fat cats, nice blue, one decent flathead, several flatheads for Flathead September. The barge took a little bit of my time. This is spot number three. Either way, y'all, it is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one signing out.